Greetings. This devotion is for the 27th of January, and the reading comes from Mark chapter 3, 13 through 19. He went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he named apostles, to be with him, and to be sent out to proclaim the message, and to have authority to cast out demons. So he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Bongaris, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. So, kind of clearly here, we see this, that Jesus takes his disciples, um, the, the Mark calls apostles, that in Greek it, it is one word, um, but oftentimes, biblically, we see that kind of interchanged. But nevertheless, he takes his disciples, and he kind of makes it official. They are the ones appointed. It, it really reminds me of the whole process of, of asking people to serve on council and, and then having the installation of, of those folk on a Sunday morning. Because we know Jesus had begun the process of his ministry, the teaching and the healing, and, and, and those people were with him. So they were kind of doing the function of the role. But there was, there is, and, and was something important about the ceremony, isn't it? It's it's that thing that that makes it official. That thing you can celebrate. I was so glad about a year ago, a little less, I guess, but uh, um, that that I we were able to celebrate my installation here as your pastor at St. Andrews just, just before we were forced to shut down because of pandemic. Certainly, if the installation hadn't happened, I would have continued right along. There wouldn't have been a change in my activities here with you. But, that celebration, that coming together. We've all been called. We celebrate that calling, and we call it baptism. That, that was our celebration. And, and annually, we have opportunity to celebrate it as we remember it when we celebrate Jesus' baptism. Certainly. If, if none of that happened or we couldn't celebrate, our faith would be our faith. Our journeys would be our journeys, right? But it is so important to celebrate our formal connection to God. Let us pray. Join me in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. You restore my soul, O Lord, and guide me along right pathways for your name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.